Hey guys, this is Henry from Obedi again. Today we're going to keep working on our series of tutorial videos in which we demonstrate the new features included on the latest update, uh, Studio One 5.4. Okay, so today we're going to talk about the plugin manager. Okay, this is really cool and the way they upgraded this, I think it's, it's very nice and very useful. So, um, just for you know, uh, just in general, Studio One is a very stable software. In general, it's very stable. Uh, it's hard to crash, okay? And typically, when that happens, it's because of a third-party plugin, third-party software that you're working or that you're opening within Studio One, okay? Typically with plugins. And, you know, you, you, you're going to see situations in which most manufacturers will say, okay, well, if you have this version of Studio One or this version of your DAW, whatever DAW it is, you should have this version of your plugin installed. And sometimes we kind of get lost in that, okay? Sometimes we, you know, we have older versions of plugins with newer versions of DAWs or the other way around, and it's hard to get around that. You know, it's hard to keep up with it. But with a new plugin manager, Studio One basically is smart enough to know and tell you what version of your plugin you, you currently have installed, and it'll give you statistics and things like that. They're going to be useful for you to know, okay, well, I'm on this version of Studio One, but I'm on this version of this plugin. So, uh, and, and you can see the statistics when that plugin had crash or whatever, and that'll let you know, okay, well, I have to update the plugin or, well, no, it's the other way around. I actually have a newer version of a plugin that is not compatible with Studio One and so on and so forth. So how do you see that? Very easily. Um, you go down here, bottom right corner, your browser. Uh, browse and then if you're at the home down here you got your plugin manager if you click there you're gonna see this window okay there's a lot of things that you can find here but yeah you basically have two tabs plugins and statistics if you click on the plugins you're gonna see every single plugin that you have installed right now i only have the presonus native plugins that come with studio one uh, you can see here all the names so they're alphabetical and you can see type native. That means that that's a Presona Studio One plugin. You can see the vendor, the folder where it's located, and the actual version. Well, as you can see, all my plugins right now are pretty much all of them, but the view meter are in the same version because they come installed with um, with with my version of, of Studio One. You can see last time that I modify them, which is pretty much when I install them. Um, but you can also see um, things like statistics. So this is very cool. Um, this will tell you when was the last time that you used the plugins. So basically you'll know more or less which are the ones that you use more frequently. So if there's something that you don't really use, you can just get rid of it, okay? Um, it'll tell you the average load time, the average save time, the average preset size. That way, if you see the average load time, if you see a low average uh, load time, you know that plugin is working fine, like it opened quickly. Now, if you see a larger um, average load time, it could either be that the plugin is either too heavy or maybe it's not even compatible and it just crashed, you know? So that's, that's really cool there. Um, you can also do things like uh, block list you can block plugins if you find a plugin that you know for a fact that when you open it the program crashes you can basically block it and it'll only be blocked in studio one so if that plugin you you can actually open if you actually use that plugin in another doll let's say you have whatever another doll install they use for another purpose well it'll be blocked just in Studio One. So you'll make sure that in Studio One, everything will run smooth. And if you want to use it in your other DAW, you can still use it. It's not like you're uninstalling the plugin. You're just basically removing it from Studio One. So these are, uh, these are features that will make your Studio One experience smoother because now you're making sure that everything you have installed is totally compatible. This way you'll make sure that you won't have any crashes, any hiccups. And, you know, if you're in a studio, if you're in a professional environment or you're with a musician 
next to you, you're producing a band or an artist, singer, songwriter, whatever it is, you'll make sure that you won't have any troubles. Okay. And you know, in, in, in the music business or in the world of recording studios, time is money. So you cannot be in a situation in which your program basically crashes because you'll be losing time. So that's the plugin manager, updated plugin manager from Studio One 5.4. Uh, stay tuned for the next videos. Okay, we're going to keep talking about these new features uh, included in Studio One 5.4 update. And if you have any other questions, please call us from Obedient PCO Day Labs and we're going to be happy to help you. We will see you guys soon. Bye bye. Want to learn how to produce music using this or using that or using all of these? Have you been watching videos, reading manuals, blogs, and trying to figure out everything that it takes to be a music producer? Do you have a bunch of music gear that you purchased and you still haven't made any music? Well, then you need Obedia, the world's only one-on-one -on -one digital audio training and tech support service. Check out the link below for a special new subscriber offer.